Do you want to do some dancing with us? If you're just joining us for the first time, my name is Lynette and I am the Artistic Director here at The Space. Today, we're going to do some dancing together. But first, you'll want to make sure that you have room to dance. So pause your video and get your mom or dad to check and make sure that you have room to dance. We have a video called Getting Ready to Dance at Home. Watch that first and then come back and join us. Can you show me sharp hands and soft hands? Our soft hands, we touch our wrists together, then our palms together, then our fingertips together, and they push out. Wrists, palms, fingertips, push out. So everything looks very soft and smooth and flowy all together. Soft hands. What about sharp hands? Everything should move sharp and quick. You can make angles, straight lines, sharp lines, sharp hands as we go. Show me soft hands. Show me sharp hands. Show me soft hands. Soft and flowy and sharp. Sharp hands, sharp hands, sharp hands, sharp, 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 soft. Good. One song that I love to dance to is called It's Oh So Quiet. I like to play it at the start of our classes at the studio. And we like to explore all the different things that we can do when the music is soft and quiet, like our soft hands. And then exploring what we can do when the music gets big and loud, like our sharp hands. We can explore lots of different kinds of movement together. So here's what I want you to do. When the music sounds soft and quiet, can you show me something soft and quiet? Be gentle with your hands, be gentle with your arms. You can move around any way you like, but think of something that's soft and quiet and gentle as you dance. But when the music changes and it sounds sharp and loud, you can do something different. You can make big shakes, sharp shakes, fast shakes, any way you want. You don't have to follow me. This is your time to dance however you want. In fact, I'm just going to show you a picture of the studio. So you won't copy me, I won't copy you, and we'll all just dance however we feel. Are you ready? Here's It's Oh So Quiet. so still Shh. You're all alone Shh. Shh. and so peaceful until you fall in love Simple The sky up above Simple is caving in Wow! about a guy you wanna love you wanna cry you cross you have to know hope to die till it's over and then shh, shh, it's nice and quiet shh, shh, but soon again shh, shh, start another big riot you blow a fuse, sing for the devil cuts loose, sing for 
fortune I got here is no mistake. This is it! Till it's over and then it's nice and quiet. But soon again, that's another big riot. There's a name for what we call it when we're moving our arms. Port de bras. Right. We call it that because really if we were speaking French, port de bras is really how we carry our arms. Bras is your arms. Port de bras is carriage of the arms, how we move our arms and carry them around. So we have worked on a few different positions all together. You can't see my feet right now, but put your feet in first position, heels together, toes pointing out, and we will do just our arms, our port de bras. Do you remember what this one is called? En bas, or bras bas, arms low. This is our bras bas position. We want a round position with our arms, so we're thinking not long and hanging like a gorilla, not squashed up with our elbows out to the sides, but a round shape with our arms on the bottom. We also have a position as we move this round shape up. It comes in front of our bodies, right opposite your belly button. Do you remember what this one is called? Right, arms en avant, in front. That same round position, just in front of your belly button. Imagine your belly button is a trampoline for your fingertips. So when they come in off your belly button, they'll bounce right out and be en avant. If we keep moving that round shape up, 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 we get over our heads, and now we have our arms. What's this one called? Ano, arms ano, or fifth position ano, big and round. Make sure that we keep our shoulders away from our ears. So think, head is long, like a giraffe neck reaching up, and our arms are round above our heads. So we have en bas, en avant, en haut. Now, if we're here with our arms en haut, it's almost like we're inside a bubble. And if we want to pop that bubble, our arms float all the way down to second position. Do you remember second position? Out in front of us. Do you remember second position? Long and out to the side. This is our second position, and then they float back down en bas. So we're going to try all of those positions with our music. En bas, en avant, en haut, and second position. Remember that en avant is also first position. En haut is also fifth position. Let's try them together. One, two, three, four different positions for our arms to get to. Are you ready? We'll do it with music. Standing nice and tall, feet are in first position. Feel the music, arms on bar, floating on a bar, floating all the way up on a Feel that round shape on top. Pop the bubble, let our arms float to second position, and then let them float all the way back down. En bas. Are you ready? Let's go faster. En bas. En avant. En haut. Pop. 
Bir baba. Hem de gel. An bas. An bas. An o. Hop the baba. Again. Reach. Reach higher. Pop your bubble. One more. All the way finish standing tall. Very nice. This is a song about feet. We are going to explore lots of different things that our feet can do together. Are you ready? The first thing that you'll hear is the music start. And we're going to put our feet in first position, which is with our heels together and our toes pointing out. You don't have to try and make a huge first position with a big straight line, because otherwise when you stretch your knees up, you might fall over. Just put your heels together and let your toes come apart, like you're showing me how big a piece of pizza you might like to have. We're going to put our hands right on our waist, and we're going to do four plies. Plie means bend. So for dancers, when we bend our knees, we want to think of a big diamond shape with our knees pointing right out over our toes. Can you show me a big diamond? Plie and stretch. Very nice. When you do your plies, think of reaching with the top of your head right up towards the ceiling so that we're still staying really tall with our backs when we do our plies and not doing this and bending over when we do our plies. Can we try again? Hands right here. Pulling up tall through the top of your head, plie, big diamond shape, and stretch. Good. When we hear it in our music, we're going to do four plies. One, stretch, two, and three, and four, and stretch. Then we're going to hear in the music about all the different things our feet can do. We'll hear my feet can walk. Can you walk? You can walk all over. When we do our walk for this song, we're going to walk like dancers. So instead of putting our heel on the floor first, we're going to stretch our feet and walk with our toes touching the floor first. So toes touch the floor, walk all around, but we stretch our toes to touch the floor first. Then we'll come back and do some more plies. You're also going to hear, my feet can hop. Can you jump? Really good. You can also hop on one foot and try the other one too. Then you're going to hear, my feet can dance. And that is for you to do whatever you want. You can dance however you want in that part of the song. The last thing our feet are going to do in this song is run. But instead of running like we're at the park, we're going to run like dancers. We're going to press up on our toes and take tiny little steps. Quick, quick, quick feet. And your arms can be soft. And we'll run, 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 run all over for our song. Are you ready to try it with music? Here we go. Is your little friend Grover, and I am going to talk that to you voice? about feet. I have two cute little furry feet. Where are your feet? I have two feet too, you know. Although they are probably not furry like my feet. I don't think so. Do you so. know what I like about feet? Well, I will tell you. Here we go. Feet in first position. Hands right here, standing tall. Four plies. My feet two. can walk. Do you want to see me walk? And four. Do do. Now we're going to walk. Right, right then I will walk. Like dancers. You. Toes first. Here we go. Walking all over. Looking one furry foot in front of the other furry foot. Walking, oh, walking. So with the monsters. And for boys and girls too. That was fun. Ready to come yeah. back to first you position. Know what else my can do? Heels together. I'll tell you. Here we go. I have feet. Four plies. My feet can hop. Do you want to see me hop? You do. I right, to hop. I will hop for you. How high can you jump? Okay, here we go, hopping. Hop, 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 hop. Oh, I love to hop. Hop, hop, hop. Can you hop in a yeah, circle? Like bunny rabbit hopping. Oh, oh, you can hop on one foot like this. One foot. And then hop on the other foot. Other side. Oh, you're hopping and hopping and hopping and hopping. Oh, I'm getting a bit tired. How do you do? Oh. Can you come back to first position? There are more things that I can do. Hands right here. Four plies. My feet can dance. Two. Do you 
want to see me what dance. What do you do? All right, then I will dance for Time you. Time to dance. Do whatever you want. sit all sloppy like this or we don't look like dancers anymore so let's imagine that you have a balloon tied to the top of your head so instead of sitting like this the balloon will pull you up 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 till you're very tall and you can imagine your balloon taking your head right up towards the ceiling as tall as you can be our backs are straight and tall our head is straight up and tall and we're sitting up like we have a balloon tied to the top of our heads. I'm going to imagine that my balloon is green, like the grass in the springtime. What color is your balloon? Keep imagining your balloon pulling you up as tall as you can. Now we're gonna imagine that our arms are a balloon too. So right now they're floppy because there's no air in our balloon, but we're gonna blow them up together so that our arms can make a great big balloon. Are you ready? Floppy balloons with no air in them. And then, make sure your balloon is right up over your head. And then it gets so big, so big, so big, until it pops. And then we flop forward with our balloons and Do you smell feet at your house too? Woo, we're gonna have to blow up our balloons with something that smells much better than our feet. Hmm, I think one of my favorite smells is chocolate chip cookies when they're baking in the oven. What's your favorite smell? Okay, do you have your favorite smell ready? Let's imagine our favorite smell, and this time, as we blow up our balloons, we're gonna blow up our balloons with our favorite smell. Then if they pop, we'll be able to smell that instead of our feet. Once we're all the way down there, can you help me count to 10? while we're all the way down by our feet, let's blow up our balloons together. Floppy balloons with no air in them first. Now we're gonna blow up our balloons with our favorite smell. Can you imagine your favorite smell? Okay, here we go. Keep going. Keep going till your balloon gets so big, so big, so big, until it pops. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Woo! Shake it out. Say stinky feet, go away. Stretch your feet right out on the floor in front of you. Point them right out towards me. And then say, come here. Bring your toes back towards you. And then say, oh, stinky feet, go away. Point them back at me. And then say, toes, come here. Point them right back at you. They'll be lifting right up at the ceiling. Make sure we're still sitting up tall on our sitting bones and say, stinky feet, go away. Now try just bringing one toe back towards you and send it away. Try the other foot. One toe back towards you. Send it away. One. Send it away. Bring one. Send it away. Can we switch? One. Switch. 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 Faster! Shake it out. Shake your arms out. Shake your head out. Shake everything out. Oh, good. Let's stand up. Now it's time for us to do something else that we do in class. Our ants go marching. Do you remember that when ants march, they're very tiny, so we can't hear them at all. That means when we march like ants, we want to pick our feet way up when we're marching, but we want to put them down very quietly so we can't hear them. Listen for your footsteps. Can you hear them? See if you can make them even quieter. Now we're ready for our ants go marching. We're all gonna be marching one by one today. When it goes two by two, imagine that you have a friend in one hand. When we march three by three, imagine you have a friend in your other hand. Do you remember what this position is called? Demi-second. So when we march with our two friends, demi-second, we'll imagine that we're keeping our arms right in that position as we march around. Remember that when our line gets to be four by four or five by five, it's really long. What does it feel like if we have a long group of friends marching with us? Then we can't turn as tight. We have to keep marching with our friends and imagine a long line of us all together. Are you ready? Let's do it with music. So first thing, we're going to march, picking our toes right up to our knees. Here we go. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, the little ones hope it's up, it's up. The ants go marching down, around the town. Are you ready to march two by two? Two by two, you're going to have to imagine a friend standing beside you. Hold their hand. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah.
Good job. Now we'll do something completely different, the total opposite. Are you ready to make as much noise as possible? Make sure you're allowed first before you go stomping around in your house. But do you remember our dinosaur stomping? Oh, we have to pick a dinosaur that's really big and really heavy. What's your favorite one? Sometimes in class, we've chosen brachiosaurs. They're the ones with big, long necks and they have very heavy feet when they march. Sometimes we choose T-Rexes. They're ferocious, and you can march around like a ferocious T-Rex. We've also been a Stegosaurus, so you can imagine all of the spikes coming all the way down and even out to your tail. Or maybe you want to be a Triceratops. They're the ones that have the big frill in behind their heads and they have three horns because that's how they get their name, Triceratops. Like a tricycle for three. You can imagine you're a big Triceratops with a big horn and a big frill behind your head. Maybe you want to pick a different dinosaur. There are so many to choose from. Pick your favorite dinosaur. Have you got one? Okay. Now we're gonna march really heavy with our great big dinosaur feet. Thank you so much for dancing with us today. See you next time.